medicine cabinet, right? Yeah. And what do I see in there? A 15-year-old bottle of cologne. Just appeared? No, it's been in there forever. I just finally noticed it. And I'm thinking, what makes me get cologne in the first place? And I, I, I pictured where I was too. I was in Macy's, you know, like one of those cute girls coming up to you with the little spritzer. And I was like, it's a spritzer, first of all. <laughs> I just thought it was funny, man, that, that, that I had cologne. I, who wears cologne? Like, you don't wear cologne, right? No, no. Did you ever? I definitely used something. I remember putting it behind my ears or something. I don't know if that's where you're supposed to do it. I think that's what girls do. I don't, oh, really? I think guys are supposed to do this. Put it on their wrist. No, girls do this. Are you sure? <laughs> I've never seen any guy. Uh, a guy, guy in some macho movie going like a this. A guy puts it on his neck, maybe? Maybe, yeah. They don't teach this stuff. No, man. they don't. You gotta figure it out yourself. Class. And then my next thing, I was thinking, wait a minute, I just used head and shoulder shampoo, which has got a certain smell to it. Yeah. Like, saying, what do you pair with head and shoulders? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what do you pair with that? Like, head and shoulders goes well with... With, with Old Spice, probably. Yeah, right. 1970 smell. Right. I think they should come out with colognes like, I want to smell like the 1970s or 1980s. <laughs> Decades don't have smells. Oh my, right. some 1930 dudes are here. <laughs> but the thing that I find most interesting is I know, I know you took that cologne and you put it back in your, in your medicine cabinet where we'll, we'll talk about it in 15 years again. <laughs>